This is Bluefield, Virginia, a small town along the Bluestone River with a population of only around 5,000 people. But beneath this quiet lifestyle lies Lawrence Brothers Incorporation, a multi-million dollar metal fabrication company that is years ahead of their competition. Each year, they manage to save over $220,000 a year with just one revolutionary asset. How do they do this? What's their secret? They use a tool called Scan and Sand by Gray Matter Robotics. So I am Melanie Prady Lawrence. I'm the president of Lawrence Brothers in Bluefield, Virginia. Battery enclosure is a very niche market, uh, even at the height of battery tray production. Founded in 1974 by James Daniel Lawrence and his brother Dale, Lawrence Brothers originally produced battery boxes for Eggside Battery. My name is Brandon McCracken. I'm the CEO at Lawrence Brothers. So, I mean, people's the biggest thing. Skilled people, let's say it that way. Skilled employees are hard. Trade is went from having, you know, a lot of it to none. We began to see a shift in the workforce. Of course, everyone saw it, experienced it like a smack in the face in 2020 when COVID hit, but we really started seeing that happen 18 to 24 months before that. So I sit on welding boards with the community college and also trade schools in high school, and it's just like there's no interest anymore. I'm Fernando Prati. I'm the, I'm the CEO of Lawrence Brothers. So one of the things we were trying to do was we started, we, we set up a weld school here in the back and uh, we were trying to uh, get people to apply to get paid to learn how to weld. But yet again, there has been a struggle. We have not succeeded with that. I think another thing in, uh, that is a big issue in our area is the opioid crisis. We definitely, a lot, and we continue to have problems weekly, if not daily, with drugs. You know, a lot of our, our guys, even, you know, we do a lot of second chance. Uh, so we, we try to develop people. We really do try to give people a second opportunity in life. The grinding here, I would say, is the most physical part of what we do, the most taxing on someone's, you know, body, their health. You're holding a 7 to 10 pound grinder all day long for 10, 10 to 12 hours a day. Slinging that thing around gets a little tiring. <laughs> it does. Back whenever I used to grind, there were some mornings I would wake up and I mean, I would physically have to pull my hands apart because my fingers would just lock up on my hands from pulling a trigger and you know, you gotta hold on to that thing because it comes out of your hands, somebody's gonna be hurting. This is where Gray Matter Robotics comes into play. What we're doing at Gray Matter Robotics is offering these manufacturers a solution, a robotic solution that's autonomous, that can help their workforce to enhance their productivity, that can help their workforce to focus on other high level, higher value added tasks, as opposed to tedious and ergonomically challenging tasks such as sanding or grinding. And whenever someone has a high mix, high variability production, they're typically dependent on manual labor, and there's not enough people to do those jobs anymore in the US. By 2030, if we don't solve the labor shortage problem in U.S. manufacturing, U.S. manufacturing will be at a risk of a trillion dollar every single year. This startup uses robots equipped with AI software that can scan a part and then perform a range of surface finishing applications, such as sanding, grinding, and polishing. Prior to this software, a task like this would have been impossible for a robot to do, as each part would have to be exactly the same in the exact same spot a groundbreaking development for manufacturing. Now with the quality, that's also a consistency, is quality in, in amount of parts and quality and consistency in, in the finish. It's always the same. Like I said, the, the, the robot does not get tired like a person. You know, a person in our one of the day is grinding at a certain level, at our 10 is, you know, he's tired. It doesn't produce the same quality. The amount of parts rejected has come down exponentially also for us. Just the fact of not having to sit there all day long and flip all this heavy material and run this machine has been, I would even say, life-changing for some of them because, I mean, it's gave them kind of a new sense of purpose. It's helped keep employees. It has helped us increase production. I was able to pick up about 400 more trays a week because we started seeing our paint shops, hey, we got room now. We, we see the light at the end of the tunnel. One thing is clear. The future of manufacturing is starting in places like Lawrence Brothers Inc., where AI automation is reshaping how we work. With tools like gray matter robotics scan and sand, tasks that once required hours of repetitive and strenuous effort can now be automated easier than ever before. 
This reduces worker injuries and exposure to toxic materials. This is only the beginning. Lawrence Brothers Inc. has unlocked a glimpse into what's possible, setting a new standard for industries of all sizes. We do have a focus on, on wellness here as well at Lawrence Brothers. We provide all of our team members with 100% paid health insurance. They also have a free gym membership that they're able to access. We are working on ways to incentivize them to use that more. Gray Matter Robotics is helping us with that because we're able to be much more efficient. Already just in the first six weeks of having our robot, we have seen a 33% improvement in efficiency. So we are able to work our guys less hours, but be able to stick to the same level of production or higher than what we were able to with, with more hours. I think nobody does what Grave Matter Robotics does. You know, I think the most attractive thing that they provide is that AI technology that will scan the part and it makes the process so simple. We're also looking for things to, to simplify our lives, you know, because, you know, turnover is never going to be something that you get away with. It doesn't matter if people are happy or not, people move on. So we need a technology that's also easy for us to transition new people into that role in a day or two days or in a week. But the most, most attractive thing with Gray Matter is the fact that you don't have to program anything.